Hey guys, and welcome back to Play Candy. So today I'm going to be making another custom Barbie doll. It's going to be based on a crybaby, and I'm using Crystal, my polar bear, in the background there. So first of all, I've dunked her head in some boiling water, and this you must do very carefully. This is just to help to remove the head without breaking the neck joint. And then we're going to remove all of the old hair. Now this is an old eBay Barbie. Again, you can see someone scribbled away in her head with some red or pink pen there. So her hair is quite ruined anyway. So we're going to remove all the hair just snip it away and then once we've done that we're going to go inside the doll's head and remove all of the shorter bits and the gluey bits with one of these these are a little archery clips and they're brilliant for pulling out all these stuck on bits of gluey hair I'm just going to do this on a time lapse because it does take quite a while to do guys Okay guys, we're all done now, so now we're going to remove the sticky bits of gluey residue and paint from the head. We're going to use some nail polish remover to do this. Just be careful not to wipe it over the face if you don't want to remove any of the paint on the face because it will remove the paint. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to paint my Barbie's head and I'm using this lovely shimmery blue paint because it matches the colour of the hair that I'm going to be rerouting my doll with. Okay guys, now that the paint has dried, we're going to start rooting the head. So I'm using my rooting tool and I like to start at the corner of one of the temples and then I work all the way around the back of the head using smaller pieces of hair for the smaller, finer plugs that go around the hairline. And then once we've worked our way around the whole hairline, I'll start to fill in the whole base of the head with bigger plugs of hair. And then finally at the end, I will do the uh, side parting. Okay guys, now that I've filled in the whole head, you can see I have started on the side parting. So what you want to do is take a plug of hair going along first one direction and then turn your doll around and go in through the same plug in the opposite direction and this will give her a nice thick hairline with no gaps in it, like this. Her hair is big and bouncy now and so I'm just going to settle it down in some boiling water but I did make a bit of a mistake here. I've got to admit, guys, I forgot to glue her hair in first. So normally I glue the hair in first before setting this hair down. Obviously, we don't want to lose any of that hard work and the hair that we've just rerouted. So normally glue the hair first and then settle the hair down. Anyway, guys, now I'm starting work on my outfit. What I've done is I've cut two squares, well actually I've got one square and one rectangular shape and I'm just crisscrossing them over each other. I've used some nail varnish, clear nail varnish remover just to seal off all the edges so that they don't fray and now I'm cutting a hole in the middle where my Barbie doll is going to go through. This is going to be the top, I'm literally just making a little rectangular piece like this and now I'm going to stitch some darts along the front of the Barbie doll. This is just to make it sit nicely around the waist. And once I'm finished doing those darts, I'm going to turn her around and I'm going to stick some Velcro onto the back of my top just so that it opens and closes nicely. And there we have it. Now I'm stitching on a lovely blue gem to match Crystal's blue color. And I'm also adding this lovely shimmery blue ribbon around the waistline and that's also just to cover my little frayed edge of uh, material fabric around her waistline. 
and there we go. So she is looking really cute now. She's got this lovely um, handkerchief style skirt, which sits really nicely and a matching top. We've used our ribbon and our bead to decorate, but now I'm gonna to get to work with her hair. So I'm gonna quickly do her hair and then I will curl it up. So here we are guys. I've just taken a section of hair from either side, twisted it round in a bun. And now I'm going to get to work curling the rest of my hair. So I've got my cut pieces of straw, I've got my Kirby grips, and I'm just going to use maybe about four or five, I'm not sure yet, I don't wanna make masses of curls. So we'll just see how many I need. I'm gonna start twisting around my straw and I'll hold it in place with a Kirby grip. It is very slidey, this hair, very thick. You could always wet the hair down before you do this if it makes it a little bit easier. The hair won't be so fly away. I'm just gonna secure the base of these in with maybe two curvy grips and now I'm going to time lapse the rest of the curls. Now that I'm done, I've only put four in. I'm going to um, dunk her head in some boiling water. Do it very carefully, guys. And this will just set the hair, perm the hair in effect and keep the curls in place. So I haven't got a very big jug, I'm going to dunk the bottom of the hair first and then I'll switch her around and dunk the top of her head afterwards. There we go. And now just soak off the excess water, let's make sure not to ruin her nice new dress. And while all of that dries, I'm going to get to work painting her face. So I'm just using some of this paint because it's quite opaque, it's a bit see-through and I'm just going over that dark blue eyeshadow with this brighter blue eyeshadow and I'm going to use the same blue just to brighten up her eyes a little bit. Now that I've done that guys, I'm going to do her lips. So I've got this lovely nail polish. It's a flamingo color and it's got a really nice mother of pearl sort of shimmery, um, holographic-y kind of sheen to it. So I'm just gonna put that over her lips. I'm sure that'll look quite pretty once that's done. And then after I have done this, I'm gonna use my needle just because it's got a finer point on it and I'm going to just brush in some dark brown hair strokes to her eyebrows, just to make her eyebrows a little bit more realistic looking. Okay guys, I've chosen these blue shoes, but they look a bit plain, so I'm going to jazz them up. Look at how lovely and shimmery our crystal crybaby is. I've got this perfect blue glitter, and I'm going to glittery find my shoes. Okay guys, I'm gonna let the shoes dry. I've given her some bright blue glittery nail polish and now let's get to work and have a look at our hair. So these bits of hair on the end that haven't curled nicely, I'm just going to trim those up, um, trim them off with some scissors once I'm done so don't worry about those. Um, but what I'm going to do once I've removed all of these curls is I'm going to divide each of the curls into about three or four separate little pieces and that'll just make her hair a bit more bouncy, a bit more curly. So there we are, our perm has set, so I'm just gonna to get to work separating each of the curls, like I say, into about two or three sections. There we have it guys, voila, I think she is looking very cute. So I've got one of these lovely Swarovski crystal heart gems and I'm going to use that to decorate her hair. I was going to stick it in place with some super glue but actually for some reason the super glue didn't stick. 
so I ended up having to place it in with some hot glue and that worked just fine. But this is where I'm going to put it just in front of her little bun and how sparkly and pretty does that look guys. Perfect. Next up I'm going to put our shoes on, they have dried nicely. Let's check them out. And look at them guys, they are a perfect colour for our crystal. And let's pop them on. Very nice. Okay guys, and this is my doll ready. I had the little sparkly jumper. This is just a Barbie doll jumper that I had. So she can accessorize her outfit with that if she wants to. But I kind of like her without it on. So I'm just going to take some pictures with and without it. And there she is. So guys, I have given this crystal Barbie doll mum a really special name. She is going to be called Isabel. Now Isabel is one of my Play Candy friends and she has got her very own Barbie doll for Christmas and she calls her Play Candy and I can't believe it. I'm so, so thankful that you named your doll after me, Isabel. And guess what? I have named my new doll after you. So this is Crystal and this is Izzy, her mum. So guys, that's about all I've got time for today. I hope that you've all had a really happy new year and I'm sending you all the best wishes for this new year. I hope that you enjoyed watching my video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't done so already and leave me some comments on what you'd like to see me make next and I'll see you guys all really soon. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, it'll notify you as soon as I release a new video. Well guys, I'm sending you loads of love for now and I'll see you all really soon. Lots of love guys.